Hi drummers, hope you're well. Yeah, shout out to channel member Robert, who's working on this one. This is How to Play the Drum Break from Films by Gary Newman. Goes like this. In fact, it starts with the bubba bubba. So it's a classic little two-bar phrase, isn't it? Um, I don't think Gary Newman is regarded as a hip-hop like artist, but that is totally a hip-hop groove. And I see actually that's been sampled by a load of hip-hop uh, tunes because it obviously he's not rapping along with it. So we don't necessarily think of it as like a hip-hop thing. But uh, man, that is totally a little two-bar break that well, clearly a ton of great hip-hop artists have sampled and used. Um, it's got a really interesting kick drum part, hasn't it? That goes boom, 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 so you're playing straight eights here on the hi hat. One and two and three and two and the snare drum just hits a backbeat as usual on two and four. But the kick part each time is one E and a two. kind of feel bob bom bo ba now i would say this phrase but it's dead right it depends where you're at with your bass drum playing right uh if you've had sessions with me or you're a channel member and i've written you about a practice plan or both and uh you're working on your bass drum stuff there's a very good chance i'll have put you on to uh, the gary chafee book time functioning patterns which has got a series of bass drum essentially bass drum exercises certainly at first called fat back grooves this is literally one of those exercises on my wall here I have these exercises. This is uh, number 12, number 12. Now the fatback exercises are amazing. They're basically every possible combination of one, two, three, and four kick drums uh, played throughout one beat. Um, and this is, yeah, number 12, boom, 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 The idea with the fatback exercises, the Gary Chafee ones is you play up against different hi-hat patterns, that's different hi-hat ostinatos. Here it's against a straight eights feel. And assuming you can physically play it, what it boils down to coordination wise is, I always, for me, is like, does this bass drum, whichever one you're looking at, sync with the hi-hat or does it go in between? So that little moment each time, the first kick is in sync with the hi-hat on the one or on the beat. Then the one on the E is the bass drum on its own. One E, one E. Then the and is the hi-hat on its own and one E and one e and and then the r uh is the bass drum on its own one e and a. so one e and a two and three e and a two and one e and a two and now in the second half of the second bar where the little fill kind of moment happens a little roll around the snare drum and the high tom so one e and a, sorry three e and a. So you play the first bar, one E and a two, and three E and a four, and second bar, one E and a two, and three E and a. So that time the a, uh, the last sixteenth of beat three is on the snare. I would go left stick if you're right-handed, right-handed, and then four E and a. I reckon single strokes, right, left, right, left, snare drum high tom. I'm not sure how the guy played it. Yeah, the drummer was called Cedric Sharpley. So uh, let's just run it a little bit. We're going to go really deathly slow at first, usual thing, round and round this two bar loop, and we're going to pick up a little speed as we go. So something like three E and a four E and a one E and a two and three E and a four and second bar one. Pick it up slightly.
solid gold little uh, groove, isn't it? That's really, really great. Now, bass drum wise, this when we do grooves of this sort in sessions, it almost always leads to a conversation about bass drum technique. Uh, I favor a simple heel up technique, as you can see, bouncing uh, on the ball of the foot. I've made uh, quite a lot of videos about that technique and various exercises and drills uh, that I think are really great ones to help develop it. I'll link to that playlist of videos to that uh, regarding bass drum technique uh, below. But that's the thing, man. For me, if you, as long as you can physically go boom, 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 ba, it's just a coordination thing. And I really can't recommend enough while we're here. Gary Chafee's time functioning pattern is that first page of fat back exercises. Uh, because, you know, obviously if a drummer's been pr playing those regularly, practicing those regularly, when you hear a groove like this, like, you're done, man, because you can already play it, right? We always say it, but I always say it, but I really firmly believe it. Be ready and you don't need to get ready by practicing, you know, in the physical part of your practice plan, you know, head, heart and hands in the hands bit or feet in this case, the physical skill building bit. If you're doing drills that represent, you know, just the sort of things, the physical skills that are then going to serve you well in the real world, half the time this happens, right? A groove comes up and you're like, okay, that is literally what I've been playing in my bass drum drill. Uh, so that's what this is. I'll play it a few more times on the way out here. And uh, yeah, shout out to Robert. Amazing suggestion really cool uh, record to stick on see if you can keep this solid all the way through thanks a million